It looks like traditional marijuana, but it's actually a fake version called many names on the streets, such as Spice, Genie, and K2. Officials say users get a high similar to that of marijuana, but the side effects are much more potent. Dr. Randall Tackett, a professor in the College of Pharmacy at the University of Georgia, explains why he thinks fake pot became so popular. It was available mm -hmm. and has been, has been widely available. You could actually get it in some head shops and uh, get it on the streets for, because for a while there it was not illegal. And um, the other issue about the um, marijuana was, or the synthetic marijuana was, it was not showing up on drug tests. So those were two things you could, you had access to it and that you, uh, it would, you would not test positive on a drug test. There have been two related deaths in Georgia this year alone. 41 states have banned fake pot, and Tackett said he believes more legislation will come about. Synthetic THC is in the limelight over THC. Mm -hmm. um, I think there will be increased um, penalties that will eventually emerge. In addition to problems with addiction, Tackett said he and other researchers expect there will be problems with what is being marketed compared to what is actually being sold. Cocaine or LSD or some of the other things, any of these substances may be laced onto marijuana and we're going to see the same thing with THC. As we said earlier, 41 states have banned fake marijuana. There have been two related deaths in Georgia this year alone. That's why experts say smokers of fake pot are left with only two choices, going to the hospital or going to the morgue. Reporting from Athens, I'm April Bailey, Grady News Source.